So they flew in somewhere from, or from somewhere. I suppose they're trying to avoid the Christmas pot. My mum used to say to me that I would be up in the early morning and disappear up the field where the geese were sitting on the nest and sitting in with it. And the only time I ever had any damage done to me was by a gander or a goose and a green, a green fracture on one of my arms when I was four or five. I used to sit in the uh, box with the goslings when they were brought in the house. Not sure whether they're ganders or geese. Can't tell from here. Be happy though. There's two more on the top field as well, so they can stay if they want to. Not a problem. As you can see, the geese are still with us. There's only four, so I wonder where the other one is. They did a five. There's number five, sitting on a nest. Goslings are coming. There's any goslings in the eggs. There's an old wives tale you never used to take daffodils in the house in the winter time. And I'll tell you the story beyond that sometime. She's just telling me to keep away. Turns the eggs every day. I'm not doing any harm, girl. So we're four weeks' time. Goslings, if the eggs are fertile. You think this is daddy? I wouldn't know a male from a female. I don't suppose it matters to anybody else except another goose or a gander. Gander's on. Uh, Guard and the other one standing on the edge beside her. Shall have them out feeding grass soon. <coughs> Today, the goslings have finally left the nest. And uh, these eggs are obviously not up to it or nothing in them anyway, so she's left them. I'm not sure how they know when there's nothing in them. Perhaps they feel a movement when they're nesting on them. I don't know. But anyway, she's decided that like, these ones are no use, so there's, I think there's 11 eggs. Six have hatched out. One was a dead gosling and the other four eggs are, where was left, are apparently must be rotten. So the nest, and uh, that's uh, now vacant. They're huge eggs too. I'm such a small animal. They usually uh, lay them in two batches so they don't all come out at once in case there's a problem. I see the, uh, the world has moved in to see if there's anything there worth eating. As you can see they're highly protective of their little offspring. The little noise they make are so, so um, I don't know. Vulnerable, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> In the olden days, the uh, most farms ran a flock of geese we did at home. And they were always uh, killed at Christmas. And they paid for Christmas, really. I did the same on the other videos there about the old wives' tales about daffodils. 
And I'd heard it but never realised what it meant. And uh, they would never allow you to bring daffodils indoors. It's a superstition and uh, I didn't know the full in impact of it. But apparently to do with goslings and when the geese sees daffodils it thinks the goslings have hatched. Off the nest it goes and disappears so the theory is you'll never really see geese nesting where there's daffodils or vice versa. Again, I don't know whether it's true or not. So this brood of geese are now going to protect these little guys from um, attack, I hope. Let nature take its course anyway. And what I hadn't spotted is there's another goose behind and another nest. I'm going to go from 5 geese to 20 by the looks of it. There they are under mum, the white goose. She's the matriarch. Lucky man, eh? They're well protected though, aren't they? She'll sit down on the soon. Be off to eat grass. They came off the nest today. She's left the rest of the eggs to go cold. Because they're rotten. They mustn't be able to sense movement inside, I guess. Takes me away for a walk. These are the goslings now fully left the nest. Five geese to support them. Six on the ground. And today we saw buzzards circling around looking at them. But the rooks took a dislike to them and chased them away. They're so protective. Probably will probably keep them all. Lambs thinks it's a goose. And it's a happy ending to our goose. Or oh, our gosling story, I think. Takes me back 60 odd years. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs>